Today, we're talking about how to make your offer stand out and win the house of your dreams. Hi there, I'm Lisa Carroll. I'm with Team TLC, Mahara & Associates. We're local realtors here in the Tampa Bay area. And I just finished up a mastermind with some of the top realtors across the country. And I wanted to share with you some of the tips and things that we exchange because we're all, almost everywhere, are going through the same kind of thing. And the market's crazy, the market's crazy. And you know, you have to make these crazy offers on the house to get the house. And you know, there were some good strategies, I think, to share with you as a buyer if you're in this market right now and you need to buy a home. So first off, I thought it was really interesting to kind of explain the state of the market compared to what it typically is. And I've been selling real estate for like 27 years, never seen anything like this. So typically, you know, in a normal market, the seller will put a price on their house, which might be just a little bit above what they think they're gonna get. And then you as a buyer can come in and offer a little bit less and negotiate a good price that you feel good about. They're expecting to come down a little bit, but that is not the case in today's current market. So right now we're seeing the opposite. Sellers are pricing their house as high as they possibly think they can, within reason of course. And then what's happening is you as the buyer need to look at that price as the starting auction bid. So these houses that are listed at a certain price are not going below what they're asking anymore. They are going above. So you need to look at that list price as your starting bid. So if you're in an auction situation or you're bidding on something and you really want it, you're gonna to need to make your offer as strong as you possibly can. Now there's lots of different techniques people are using. You know, they're paying above appraised value, they're waiving the appraisal, they're waiving their financing contingency, they're waiving their home inspection. Um, but there's other tricks that can be used when making an offer to make your offer stronger without having to do those things. Some of those tips include things like offering to pay for the title insurance. Here in Florida, that is typically a seller's expense. So you as a buyer could offer to pay for some of the seller's expenses, which makes the seller's net a little bit higher on your offer. So there's a lot of different tips with that, but another good idea I think that was brought up today is if your budget is say $350,000 max, you might wanna put your budget down just a little bit, maybe to 325 or something like that. So you have some room to negotiate on that price to go up so you're not gonna exceed your max budget. If your max budget is 350 and you're looking at homes that are listed at 350,000 and that's the starting bid right now, you're gonna be capped out and you're just gonna be wasting your time and spinning your wheels because other people are going to be offering above that starting point. So I thought that was a good little tip, something different, a different way to look at things. And um, no matter where you're shopping right now in this crazy market, those two strategies might help you just get the house of your dreams. Hope you enjoyed this little bit of information and enjoyed this video. We'd love it if you'd subscribe to our channel. We're trying to get up to a thousand subscribers this year, so we greatly appreciate it. Ring the little bell so you'll be notified of our future videos. Have a great day, and if you didn't know before, now you know more.